Hello, developers. We've spent a lot of time discussing how to use Vagrant to create our development environment. So now it's time to bring everything we've learned together so we can finally develop some code. Vagrant provision. One of the pieces of Vagrant we haven't discussed yet is the ability for Vagrant to install and set up packages in our virtual machines using its provisioning system. Vagrant will automatically run these commands when we Vagrant up our environment the first time. And it also provides the Vagrant provision command to have it run the provisioning manually. We define this set of commands using the config.vm.provision directive in our Vagrant file. To get started, we're going to use the inline mode of the shell provisioner. There are several different provisioners supported by Vagrant, but the shell mode is nice because it allows us to keep all of our provisioning steps inside the Vagrant file and doesn't require any additional software. We found that as the complexity of the provisioning increases, it's best to move to solutions like Ansible, Puppet, or Shell. Basic steps to set up our LAMP stack. Let's take a step back and discuss what needs to happen to set up a LAMP stack using Ubuntu, Apache, MySQL, and PHP 8. To get our installation working, there are several things we need to do. Number one, set up our virtual machine to use an alternative repository. For this setup, we're using the long-term support release of Ubuntu, so we have five years of support. The downside to that decision is that we'll be stuck at version 7.4 of PHP, even though the most current version of PHP is 8.0. Thankfully, there's an alternative repository that allows us to install newer versions of PHP on the long-term support versions of Ubuntu. To get this repository set up, we need to run the commands below to install the prerequisite packages and then add the repository. All of the commands in this video are in the description for the video, so don't feel like you need to type them all out as they can be kind of long. Number two, install Apache, MySQL, and PHP 8. Now that we've installed the repository, we can install the rest of our LAMP stack. Number three, create a virtual host for Apache and enable it. Our next step is to create a virtual host for Apache so we can serve files out of the home vagrant directory. To do this, we need to create a basic configuration file. To keep things organized, we're going to create a setup directory inside of our project directory and create a file named development.com with the contents on the screen. Again, the contents of this file can be found within the description, so you don't have to type it all out. This will set up a basic virtual host to serve whatever we put inside the public directory of our project. The commands we're going to add to our Vagrant file will copy this file to the appropriate directory inside of our virtual machine, enable it, disable the default site, and reload Apache so it notices the change. Number four, create a development database and user. The last step is to create a development database and user. We almost always need to create at least one database per project, and we recommend creating a specific user per project. We could set up the connection to use the root user, but it's bad practice as it increases the attack surface of our database server. Bringing it all together. Here is the completed Vagrant file, which includes a static IP address and a synced folder. Now we can run Vagrant provision to have it run the steps we've outlined within the Vagrant file. To test our setup, we can create a very basic phpinfo.php file in our public directory. Conclusion. In this video, we discuss how to use Vagrant's provisioning system to configure a basic LAMP development environment so we can finally start working on our project. If you have questions related to Vagrant or the PHP ecosystem in general, and you would like us to answer in a future video, please ask them in the comments below and we will add them to our list.